What's up, what's going on people of YouTube, it's your boy the Hobby Collector here to give you guys an unboxing slash review of the M-Cable Gaming Edition. Now before I dig into the meat and potatoes of this video, I do want to let you guys know to stay tuned to the end of the video for Amazon bloopers. Yes, Amazon do have a bloopers inside here in which they sent me the wrong item and man, I could have cried because like I waited all day, all at work with this on my mind and when I got home and open up the package the item that it was compared to what it's supposed to be y'all do not want to miss that so stay tuned to the end of the video um just to let you guys give you guys a heads up ahead of time so the m cable gaming edition they also have a cinema edition for movies and things of that nature but this is the gaming one strictly catered towards gaming so i ordered this item used for about 85 to 89 dollars and at the time it was brand new for 130 dollars this was only two weeks ago it recently dropped down in its overall brand new price to from 130 dollars to 99.99 brand new so by the time i reordered it again i ended up getting it brand new for 99.99 same day delivery but before we even dig into what I personally think about the cables across the PS2, the PS3, and the PS4, before we do all that, let's go ahead and read the box. Uh, the presentation alone is ridiculous when it comes to this company. So they did a real good job with their box, their presentation. Like that's that's everything to me. Sometimes you can sell an entire item, you know, to someone just by your presentation, just by them just looking at and reading your box and just seeing how everything is set up, everything is structured, the colors, the art and everything just, you know, presented to you so well. The wording is just real easy to uh, engage yourself with and understand what they're talking about. The presentation is top notch with this item. So front of the box it says M Cable Gaming Edition and it has a little image on front. It says pixel and graphics rejuvenation, advanced contextual anti-aliasing, Contrast and detail enhancement, lag free real time processor, automatic Technicolor 4K movie mode. Oh shit, okay, I didn't know that. Ultra high frame rate VR gaming, 1080p up to 120 frames per second. Now, this cable does not take a 60 frame per second image and make it 120 frames per second. What it's saying is if you were to connect this to something like, let's say, a PC that can go a higher frame rate than a console. This cable will be able to handle those frame rates without dropping frames due to the hardware of the cable is what it's pretty much saying. So it can handle what you're throwing at it. So before we flip open the tab and read the inside of the box, let's go ahead and read the back real fast. Of course, you guys already seen all the images, but on the back it shows like a little image on back, um, a 4X zoom, give you guys an illustration of you know the details you'll get and how it cleans up the image. M cable, anti-aliasing, improved focus, extreme clarity, instant transformation. Contextual processing, boost gaming experience with anti-aliasing, contrast, color, and detail enhancement. Lag-free high frame rate. Latency less than one millisecond. Support game resolutions up to 1080p at, six, at 120 frames per second. Excuse me. HDMI 1.4 processor. Maximum flexibility and compatibility with most gaming devices and TVs. Keep that in mind. Built to last, 18 karat gold plated connector, transfer rate 27 gigabytes per second. Let's go ahead and dig into the inside. Now, even with that presentation, with the magnets and stuff that holds the little flap door closed, um, that's even stronger than some other super premium products I've uh, unboxed and opened up before. So they paid attention to high detail with this, and this is a premium item. So I love, I love manufacturers and and um, companies that. Um, really really pay attention to detail and put a lot into their box and product uh, shipping um, presentation and stuff like that so anyways enough uh, you know tooting their horn let's go ahead and read the inside of the box a complete game changer I like the little pun but anyways uh, rendering games requires massive computing power since processors are physically limited game engineers are too often forced to render with significant wait insignificant excuse me render with insignificant sampling resolution and frame rate. And that is very true. A lot of game consoles have to sacrifice a lot inside some scenes, inside some aspects of, ga of games because it only can do so much. So rendering with uh, insufficient sampling resolution and frame rate, this results in well-known graphics artifacts. As an example, we all experience annoying aliasing artifacts such as jagged edges and shimmering textures. You'll notice this mostly on um, throwback old school games like the PS2 when they're trying to render uh, trees and you know buildings and stuff you'll see like these little step like if you look at the edges of everything you see like this little step pattern instead of a straight edge so this gives you more of a straight edge and it takes care of that for the most part 
M Cable Gaming Edition acts as an additional graphics processor which removes up to 75% of graphics artifacts without sacrificing any game speed. I agree with that and I like how they said 75% instead of trying to sit here and lie and try to say all kind of extra stuff to make you you know buy the item just tell us exactly what it does and you know that make us actually want to trust you even more and want, want us to uh, you know try you out even more so continue on it's real-time engine processes at wire speed up to 120 frames per second for 1080p gaming including VR no additional hardware or software needed M cable is truly plug-and-play solution to instantly upgrade your favorite games M cables patent pending technology which I don't like that you know I like that they patent is pending but you know it's working for the most part contextual processing is a state of art let me go ahead and read that all over M cables patent pending technology contextual processing is a state-of-the-art algorithm by emulating critical eye perception to recreate every pixel for more real realistic rendering excuse me with this unique compatibility, M-Cable achieves advanced anti-aliasing filtering which fixes jagged edges and removes shimmering effects from textures without noticeable blur. Actually, I did notice some inside some games, so I'm going to get to that in a moment. In addition, Gaming Edition inherits acclaimed picture quality enhancement from original M-Cable. Gamers can perceive more depth, better visual focus, and crystal clear details. M-Cable Gaming Edition is a must-have for gamers who are serious about graphics quality. So it's a nice little breakdown of the product, nice and presentable, worded real well. Um, let's go ahead and continue reading on to the quick and easy installation. Plug the USB connector on your display or console to power the M cable. So if you got a USB on your TV or something like that, you can use it on your TV or you can plug it up to a USB on your console. And finally, on the right side of the inside of the box, it reads, works with HDMI compatible devices, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, uh, virtual reality headsets, Blu-ray players, computers, and streaming boxes. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I think about the cables, my test of the cables on the PS2, PS3, and PS4, the game I decided to use to go, uh, to give you guys a presentation for the video purpose is uh, Call of Duty Black Ops for the PS3. Now with Black Ops, I did notice an immediate difference. First, I tested out, had it plugged up regular, you know, looking at different things. Um, the scene inside the little bar, I was looking at the cigarette on the, uh, on, the, on the counter. And just looking at different things that I know that the cable probably would fix up and stuff like that. And then I popped the cable on and yes, it did. It cleaned up a lot of things. The cigarette, it don't have those shimmering artifacts from... The console trying to pick up little small details because these consoles ain't made to pick up small details so when it's trying to pick up little small details that's what the shimmering artifacts are talking about is like kind of shimmers a little bit because it can't really see it can't really see it but it can see it but when you got the m cable hooked up it can actually see the details but then it's a hit or miss for some games some ps2 games um just look too too smooth look too blurry a little bit because it's trying to it's fixing too much of the lines too good you know it's making it too smooth to where it's taking away the detail and the ps2 to talk about the ps2 with the m cable is kind of tricky because i'm also using another cable which i did not even do an unboxing of yet which i need to it's pretty much a cable that allows you to connect the hdmi cable to your ps2 um that cable does work it does what it's made out to do but it does not give you any more higher resolution so when you got that plugged up through hdmi and you stretch it out from 4x3 to 16x9 it does actually stretch out the image it makes the image wider um i mean it looks cool it makes it gives you a full image but it does not give you a true 1080p 16x9 image nevertheless what the m cable does it gives you that 16x9 image truthfully so anyways, back to the PS3, because that's the first console I was testing out first. Um, I tested out, and I got some notes written down on my phone, but I tested out a number of games. So I got six games here I want to uh, mention real fast. I'm going to go ahead and say the best for last. Start off with uh, Resistance 1 for the PS3. It makes that game look a little bit more crisp, look more clean, makes everything, brings out more of the detail inside their environments and stuff and things of that nature. This game already doesn't have that much detail inside their environments. It didn't add that much, you know, backgrounds and stuff like that. But what this cable offers to this game does a very good job with it. So, um, yeah, I gave it a B for the graphics upgrade. So Call of Duty Black Ops. I gave that a B plus, which is the, uh, you know, the presentation I decided to show you guys for the video. 
um could have got an a but for some scenes some graphics could have been cleaned up a little bit better i feel but for the most part you do see a difference um plugging up a regular hdmi cable then immediately plugging up the m cable you definitely see a difference you, it's cleaned up a lot more um you don't see those shimmering artifacts that much the edges are much more clean so next up heavenly swords that got an a that game looks night and day now that's one of the games where it's a night and day difference so that bad boy i can't wait to get back up on there to play more of it i just put it in for a good 30 minutes played the beginning part um next up is motor storm i gave that a b plus um it makes it look way better m cable does a great job with this game the mud the dirt everything and stuff like that the car details the environments makes it look like a 1080p game it makes pretty much it makes all the ps3 games look like 1080p it makes it look like a ps4 game you know for the most part and speaking of looking like a PS4 game, that's where Killzone 2 comes in. Oh my fucking goodness. I had to say it like that bluntly because the intro scene with the M cable, this is a motherfucking PC game with the M cable. Like, <laughs> it's not an extreme night and day difference, but you will get some nice anti-aliasing inside there, especially inside the areas where it's mostly needed. And uh, like I said, it just makes the game look clean, you know, um, makes the game look like how it should have looked if it was on a 1080p uh, console. You know, a lot of these games should have been inside 1080p. The reason why they don't look that well is because they're not inside 1080p, not because the games aren't designed that well inside the graphics engine and coding and stuff like that. It's pretty much just the resolution. You know, they did all that work just to lower the resolution down. So the M cable brings that back up. Like I said, get this M cable, watch that intro scene to Killzone 2, because everybody already know how good that scene already looks good by itself. But with the M cable, bruh. And last but not least, this game got an A+, the highest grade out of all the games I tested so far. It looks the best out of all the games I tested so far. This game right here, every time I played this game, I played through this game twice. And every time I played through this game, I always said to myself, only if it looked a little bit more sharp, because it always had this little little bit of blur to it like it always kind of look blurry a little bit like slightly and it always kind of annoy me because i know for a fact that they want this game to look a little bit better than this there's no way in the world they didn't want this game to look a tiny bit more sharp when it comes to the little details and stuff like that even with that being said this game still looked better than a lot of games out there you know and that is metal gear solid 4 on a ps3 a plus you know um the m cable with this game oh my fucking goodness this that's all i wanted I kept on telling myself, as long as this game, as long as this cable makes Metal Gear Solid 4 look the way I wanted it, wanted it to always look, I'm happy. I don't give a damn. I don't care if it's $100. I don't give a damn. As long as it makes Metal Gear Solid 4 looks the way, I had to say it again. I'm going to say it three times. As long as this damn cable makes Metal Gear Solid 4 looks the way I always wanted it to look, I'm fucking completely happy. And trust me, it does exactly that. Just the overall feel of Metal Gear Solid 4, the way it feels like a movie, the way it's just, everybody know how Hideo Kojima is, you know what I'm saying? Like, he puts a lot into his game. So when you got that M cable working with Metal Gear Solid 4 now, giving you that 1080p image, man, come on, man. Like, y'all y'all don't know what y'all missing. And there's somebody, there's a couple of people up on YouTube that got a video up with the M cable showing the differences between regular metal gear solid 4 with the regular hdmi cable versus the m cable and yeah man it's like night and day i had to see it for myself you know on my own screen in front of my own face when it's like that it's a big difference plus i'm working with and running these games on one of the best sony bravia 3d tvs in the world and so rare that you can't even find this tv nowhere not even on ebay so rare that when you do find this over 10 year old tv is going to cost you over two thousand dollars seventeen hundred to two thousand dollars that's how rare this tv is so rare and so amazing of a tv that it's been over 10 years since i own this tv and it's still running as if it's only one year now over to the ps4 and the ps2 talk about those games real briefly this review get, getting kind of long but hey this is the m cable man this is this is gaming you know so this is this a big thing you know on the PS4, even though I played games like Dishonored 2 and other games, I didn't really critically test those games. The game, the main game I really was playing on the PS4 when I did get on the PS4 with the M cable, that is Battlefield 1. Just recently uh, got onto Battlefield 1, didn't play it when it first came out, got it for $5 at GameStop. Me and my son went game uh, shopping, brought us a couple of games. Me and him both brought us some games for dirt cheap, you know, that we haven't got a chance to get on yet. And, you know, Battlefield 1. 
you know, A+. That game looks like a PC game on PS4. I'd never test this game out on a regular HDMI cable. Maybe I should so I can be able to see the differences, but I kind of really don't want to because this shit looks so damn good with the M cable. It's like, but then again, it kind of makes me want to go look at it with the regular HDMI cable to see how good the M cable is making it look. Cause Battlefield already looks good on consoles uh, either way it goes, but you know, the console still does have its limits. I have got, and I need to do a video of this. I have got completely close up to textures on console, on PS4, inside Battlefield 1 and seen absolutely no blur from any texture, the tank, grass, rocks, anything. The closer I get to textures, the more realistic it looks. And over to my favorite console of all time and the best console of all time, factual, you know what I'm saying? That's facts based off numbers and just based off everything. That's the PlayStation 2. Now, when it comes to the PS2, that's when it was a hit or miss, you know, inside some games. Um, Onimusha Dawn of Dreams, that game looks very good. That's another game where when I turned on the PS2, I said, if the M cable does a good job with this game, I am happy. You know, all I want is this game to look a little bit more cleaned up, you know, less shimmering artifacts, less little, uh, you know, jagged edges, and I'd be happy. And give me my full image without cropping out some of the image a little bit off the screen, and I'd be happy. And that's exactly what the M cable does inside Dawn of Dreams. It gave me enough details. Um, it cleans up the image a lot because in Dawn of Dreams, it has a lot of, you know, I guess cause they, they push this game to its limits because the other Onimusha games inside the Onimusha series looks good. It doesn't have these graphical artifacts and issues that like Dawn of Dream has. Some of these games on the PS2 and the PS3 looks like an HD remaster when you play it on the M cable. And then speaking of HD remaster, there are some games I didn't test intentionally because I have these as a remaster already, like um, Shadow of the, of the Colossus and uh, God of War 1 and 2, um, Silent Hill 1 and uh, 2 and 3. Those games I didn't really test out because I own the PS2 copies of those games as well. But I didn't really test those games out. I felt like, well, even if it does look good on the M cable, I'm not going to really play it on the M cable because I own the HD remasters. So there's really no point. But it's still cool to go back and look and see what the M cable does to those games. So I am going to do that uh, when I get a chance to. And then another game I tested out on the PS2, which I took note of, which was Fatal Frame 3. Um, that game looks... Maybe I need to go back into that game and test it out again, but this is one of those games where the M cable doesn't really do a good job, like, at all. Um, it still looks like the PS2. It doesn't look like it's upscaled or nothing. It actually looks a little bit more blurry. Now, there is one downfall about this cable. There is one down. On the PlayStation 3, the signal gets lost on the PS3 when I put a game in. I have to unplug the HDMI or the USB or HDMI cable and plug it back in, and the image will pop back up within four seconds, you know? It's like, you know, it does that all the time. Every time I take a game out and put another game back in, I always have to unplug the USB uh, cable and plug it back in for it to work. And that's every single time I put another game in. Some games it didn't do that on, like I think Metal Gear Solid 4, it didn't do that, and two other games it, it didn't do that. And I think it did it twice on the PS4, but other than that, it doesn't do it on the PS2 or PS4, but on the PS3, that's the only console it does it on. And it's kind of annoying, too, especially when I was testing out a lot of different games. I got to constantly keep on getting up. So that's going to do it for my review. The cable itself, not performance, but build quality-wise, that gets an A. Performance, that gets an A+. So the overall score of this product and cable and presentation, everything overall gets an A+. Very good cable, very good product. I'm a must-have inside your... Uh, inside your arsenal of electronics if you got if you're a person that have a lot of electronics if you don't have nothing like this i say get this you know this is a well a well worth purchase especially since the price overall dropped down 30 dollars permanently one thing i'll say to the manufacturers out there if you're watching um for your next re-addition to this cable um i say add a toggle switch you know that switches between clear graphics and sharp graphics you know so for some games out there that have way too many sharp edges that really need to be cleaned up with smoothness and the smoothness is what makes it look sharp and makes it look cleaned up then i say have a switch for that on the uh, hdmi cable and for some of the throwback games that look a little bit too smooth that need a little bit more sharpening to it have it to where you can toggle the switch inside the other other direction to give you those sharper images instead of the smoother image. And then you have a middle toggle switch that give you the, uh, like a mixture of both, you know, for those games that got, you know, that needs help inside both aspects. 
you know, like Only Musha Dawn of Dreams and like games like Resistance 2 and 3, which I also tested out, but for some reason Resistance 1 looked better than both those games combined because Resistance 3 already looked horrible, you know what I'm saying, as it is, even though it's an amazing game. That game, Resistance 3 on the PS3, is the best one as far as story, as far as like the pacing and everything. It's an amazing game. But the graphics is just shit, you know, and I, I'm surprised to put that game in 3D because in 3D, the graphics are even worse. And that's one of those games where I really thought the M cable was going to really shine and do a good job at sharpening the whole game up. But it doesn't. It just still looks like the same old Resist Resistance 3 with the blurry graphics. That's one of those games where I don't even understand what happened with the graphics. You went, you downgraded with the graphics. So enough lollygagging. I know this video kind of long. There was a lot to it. You know, this is a, a very, very important product. So, you know, I had to make sure I touch on a lot of aspects of it. And even with that, I didn't touch on everything. I, there's still a lot of images I could have showed you guys in the B-roll. There's still a lot of comparisons I could have showed you guys. This is one of those items where it's just a must have. You know what I'm saying? I'm even thinking about using this bad boy to connect my PS2 to the projector. It makes you want to go back and play old games that you didn't finish. It gives you a reason. That's the number one thing. It gives you a reason to go back and want to, you know, go back and play it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thumbs up if you want more. Or thumbs up if you liked the video and it helped you out in any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. And subscribe if you want more. It's been your boy, The Hobby Collector, aka The Universal Gamer. And I'm out. Peace. Are you freaking kidding me right now, dude?